All right, everybody, we got a maintenance day on the black Chevy today. So what I'm gonna be doing today is we're gonna be replacing the rear brakes completely all the way down to the pads, rotors, and calipers. Front wheel bearings on uh, both sides because I like to change them out in pairs. I got a little play in my front right. So we're gonna overhaul all that. It's all good to go. It's all updated. And then all I have to do is update the rest of the front suspension when I get the time to. And I've had a check engine light, ABS light, and an airbag light on for the last uh, four months or so. So I got that finally diagnosed from the dealership and I paid their outrageous uh, labor rate just to figure it all out. Check engine light was a uh, EVAP solenoid. They charged me 180 for that plus labor. Had them do it. Found the part for like 110 on Amazon, so 70, I, not too bad at the loss really. That fixed that issue. Then the other two was Bang 2 Sensor 2, the sensor that monitors the cat efficiency. I guess it wasn't heating up, something like that. I bought uh, long tube headers and a Y pipe from a guy on a uh, part out truck. He actually gave me all the four O2 sensors, so I just stole one off of that, cleared the code, no more check engine lights, so that's all good. So we're gonna put the headers in the wide pipe and that, so I'm gonna eventually get them O2s turned off. So I really don't wanna have to buy a brand new O2 sensor just to monitor cats that are gonna be out of there soon enough. Either way, even if I put a uh, catted Y in it, I'm shutting them O2s off in the back. So now that just leads us with the ABS, and the airbag. The ABS will be fixed with these. I bought the Moog wheel bearings for the uh, for 99 to 06 half ton. It's 515036. That's the part number for them. And it's your six stud lug with the ABS wire, all that ready to go in. Here's some of the dealership paperwork that uh, explains to me what uh, they all did and what they all found with part numbers, so I was able to find them online. That'll fix the ABS, and that'll fix the uh, bad front right wheel bearing, obviously. And I went with the uh, power stop from Rock Auto. The power stop brakes. Now, I normally don't ever get drilled, and I only wanted to get them slotted. This was the best that Rock Auto had to offer. So I'll just go with it. Worst comes to worst, they cheese grade the pads. Well, in the future I'll handle that. Either way, I need brakes right now. And here's the uh, Power Stop Extreme. Uh, I believe they're the ceramic ones, but they're the Extreme truck and tow. So they came with the package. Oh, very nice. They gave us a bunch of new pins and stuff. Cool. We're gonna prep, get all that taken care of today because in a couple days I gotta go back to the oil field and I'll be gone for a whole month. So I gotta have brakes, gotta have a good wheel bearing. I want that ABS light off after today. The only light that should be on is gonna be the airbag light. And I may have failed to mention, but that is a bad clock spring. And I've looked that up. Doesn't look like it's too bad of a fix, so I'm gonna to try to attempt that myself when I get back. The part's about 200 bucks. Dealer wants about 470, uh, 480 to do the job. Doesn't look too bad. I think I'm gonna try it myself. Well, anyway, we gotta make room for activities. So that's gotta go out, and I gotta go use it to go get stuff. That's gotta go out. Black truck, come in. So, let's commence.
total tool here, but it's not often I get them like almost side by side at least. So <laughs> let's check them out. Oh yeah, money well wasted, everybody. <laughs> let's do a cold idle to cold idle comparison. Yeah, that's kind of cool. The Chevy's like only two inches bigger than the Ford that's leveled. <laughs> ah, look at the tinted windshield. <laughs> Damn, that does look awesome. Totally not obstructing my view either. Now what really sucks for me is I broke a part of my air compressor. So we're all manual labor on this job. I did the other day brand new caliper because I put these Russell brake lines on and I screwed up the banjo bolt so I, the condition of these rotors I mean they're they're shot and I have hardly any pad left here and about no pad left there oh crap I gotta pull these wheel spacers off too damn it some people like to put a 2x4 between the uh, lug studs when they're doing a uh, like a bore wheel spacer or something like that to torque it on we're smart not hard people. You put a five gallon <laughs> put a five gallon bucket on your brake pedal, start your truck. You let the brakes do the fucking work for you. Ah yeah. Well, fuck everybody. That's uh, not a good day. Bummer. Here's a struggle some problem. Minball's barrel. Got 5% tin on the front of the Ford. My inspection ran out back in November because I don't drive this often. Is it worth going to get a Dunkin' coffee though? Hmm. So now we're gonna attempt to finish this truck up. I've been out for a couple hours. I had to go get some parts So I went out and got a new caliper for the left rear that one I've already replaced because I screwed it up the other day when I put these Russell fittings on um, That's an a car down. This is a weaver. Usually I like them to match all the time But I guess rear brakes will be all right. There are single piston calipers on the uh, trucks uh, Some of them have dual pistons, so you got to make sure of that before you order. It's basically exactly what the stock was So we'll be good. So these brakes are just completely shot as you see there's basically like no pad left back there That's why I'm overhauling it. The reason this is a new caliber is this banjo bolt I screwed up on the stock one 
because old stuff sometimes just says screw you. And on the left rear, I had to actually heat up the uh, bleeder valve so that way I could break it loose and bleed it. And when stuff gets like that, I just don't even want it on my vehicle anymore. There's no room for bullshit, everybody. So here's the pads that I had. We've basically got nothing left. The outside had a little bit left. And so this way I didn't have a big uh, brake fluid mess. This is my little contraption to try to save the brake fluid. As you can see, that's really clean brake fluid because, yet again, the whole truck's basically been bled out when I did those brake lines, so. I actually damaged this line too and I had to fix that. <laughs> so that's new as well. But the stainless steel braided Russell lines are nice. The brake pedal is firmer, which I was hoping for. And it does feel like it stops better, at least up front, because you know, these brakes non-existent. So, we're already up this point. So I got real lucky with this. It's ready to fall off. Once I get the caliper bracket off the passenger side, I'll check that out and see. Hopefully that'll come off easy too. If not, I got a sledge ready. There we are, not too shabby. So for the bolts that bolt the caliper bracket onto the truck, we got a torque spec of 75 foot pounds. Now I just gotta button everything up. Gotta put the brake line on the caliper, gotta bleed it. One man bleed method style, we're good to go. So when you get a new caliper, it's gonna have a plug in there. You just stick a nice size flat uh, screwdriver in there, just counterclockwise twist it out, and she gone. I zip tied this up here to the U-bolt for the leaf springs earlier to hold it. So we're gonna snap that, pull this off. Brand new caliper, comes with new fittings. They're not brass though. Washer fitting, new banjo bolt, washer fitting, caliper. Now I can't stress this enough because I already dealt with this crap with the other side. Thread that banjo bolt in by hand as far as you can before you pull out Mr. Socket, AKA thread stripper. Should be good to go. And you don't need to hulk those on either. Cause all it's gonna do is crush them washers and make it a bitch to take off in future if need be. So. We're all good to go. Just gotta bleed it. My bleeder should be a 10 millimeter. All right, so now we know what we're doing. I think I'm gonna get lucky with this one too. Looks like it wants to come off. So yeah, somebody was looking after me. <laughs> so I'm gonna swap these brakes out and then uh, switch over to the new stuff, clean it up, put my uh, wheel spacers back on for that true fuckboy look. That way it's balanced out. And uh, I'm gonna enjoy my music while you guys enjoy the YouTube copyright friendly music. Here we go.
gonna do a real quick uh, comparison here. So, old stock rotor. Grooved a little bit. Pretty much done for. This was the inner pad. Found nothing left of it. The outer pad had some life left in it. I'm wondering if that's just awkward wear or if they had been changed on the outside only before. For the brand new pads. Power Stop Extremes are called. And they're slotted and cheese grated uh, rotor. <laughs> Thickness, about the same up here. I could definitely feel some lines and grooves here. They're well past shot. Uh, thickness of these brake pads compared to my better pad. Yeah, they're about half gone. This one was totally gone. We commence. Also got to mention this step is applicable to me because of the lift you put two inch wheel spacers on the back of these trucks because that way it doesn't look like a dog that got his ass kicked you know scooting away got to bring the rear wheels out all right so the rear brake overhaul is all done with this side like I said I already replaced that brake caliper the day before so that's already good I've already bled it we're good to roll with that now what I'm gonna do now is I have these uh, wheel spacers I gotta start the truck I'm gonna pump the brakes so I get my pressure back I'm gonna put that bucket on there again so that way I can torque them and up front the uh, wheel bearing hub nut 36 millimeters on these uh, 99 to 06 I'm gonna have to get that broken loose so the front brakes will hold the rotor that way I can break that loose too so we're gonna do it All right, and for this I'm gonna have to lose my heat so firing the truck up I open the garage door up I'm gonna torque these wheel spacers to the factory spec of 140 foot-pounds torque let's crank it and torque it <laughs> Okay, so I'm all good with the back. I did my front left wheel bearing already, that way I made sure I knew what I was doing. So now I'm just gonna run through and do the passenger front right wheel bearing. I was really surprised and very happy to see I pulled the driver's side off and I got rid of it already. Pretty much, I replaced a Moog wheel bearing with a Moog wheel bearing. So that's kind of cool. This one did seem like it was okay. I don't know when in its life it got put on but I changed my stuff in pairs, no matter what. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, a minor tear down. So I gotta take this off for the brake line, so that way the brake line will be, have a little more flex room. We're gonna pull the 18 millimeter 
caliper bracket bolts off. And I'm just gonna hang that up here. And then there will be three 15 millimeter bolts behind the wheel bearing itself. And then the axle hub nut I've already taken off. It's a 36 millimeter, by the way. The uh, caliper brackets are 18 millimeters. The wheel bearing bolts are 15 millimeter. It also helps that I've already PB blasted everything. I actually came out, tore to put the truck in the air, put the wheels off, and I tore into some stuff, and I PB blasted it all. And I went and did errands, so it had some sit time, which has been good. Let's hope this bearing was as easy to do as the driver's side was. And just for a rough overview, here's the assortment of tools you may need. Torque wrench, breaker bar, half inch drive stuff, preferably. Uh, half inch drive swivel, 18 millimeter ratcheting open end wrench, 3 8 wrench with a 10 millimeter for that brake line, pry bar, hammer, C clamp to compress a caliper, some snips because I have some zip ties, brake clean, PB blast, never seize. Let's tear in. Now, all I gotta do is beat this one off. It shouldn't take too much. And a uh, brake dust shield should come off too. We good to go. Ow. Well, that's one way to get it off. Good motherfucker. Oh yeah, go to hell, fuck you. So as we've seen, that one took a little bit of a beating. Yeah, they even anti-seized it and it was still a bitch. <laughs> Okay, 
So I got the hub on. I ran the wire over the sway bar for right now. I'm gonna get the caliper out of the way and then I'll connect that all later. I got a zip tie because of the rough country lift and these spindles don't have the holes in them. And these are different upper control arms, I believe, too. They don't have the holes in them for these, so. So that went well. We're gonna put the, so we're gonna put the rotor back on and the caliper. Gotta compress the caliper with a C-clamp just to give it a little bit of room so it can go back on to the rotor without a fight. And that's it. Well, the wheel bearings are swapped and changed. Now I just gotta tighten the axle nuts. Torque it to 177 foot pounds. Caliber bracket bolts also gets torqued 75 foot pounds. Okay, job success. Rear brakes all done. Front wheel bearings all brand new and done. Everything's all torqued to spec. Got these zip tied safely out of the way. Brake lines back on. Ready to throw wheels on it and roll. Finally, just to wrap this video up, one kind of cool thing is this truck came with an old, ancient Diablo Sport Predator. <laughs> we will clear the code. You're gonna have an engine light on no matter what, when your key's on and the motor's off. So let's see here. We can go down to diagnostics, trouble codes, show trouble codes, see what we got going on. Any faults that were there are now cleared. So I'm going to unplug. Uh hey, it's gone. So all we should have left is frickin' airbag. Oh, the parking brake is me. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go. So the airbag for a clock spring. That's the only thing left in this cluster with our glorious 190,000 miles, everybody. Ha <laughs> ha We're getting there. One repair at a time, everybody. Okay, well that wraps us up. I thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next repair video I'm gonna do, most likely on this truck, or until I start buying some goodies for that one. Stay tuned, everybody. Thanks.